Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Sean and this is my apartment in Daegu, South Korea. I'm going to talk to you about my experience in EPIC, which stands for English Program in Korea. This is my second year in South Korea as an English teacher. My first year was in 2013 to 2014. Uh, my first year I did not begin as a public English teacher. I uh, actually began teaching at a private school. So uh, a friend of mine from college uh, told me he was going to teach English in Korea, and he did, and he loved it and recommended it. And I had always wanted to uh, travel or live abroad, so being an English major, uh, when I heard about his experience, that seemed like um, a great opportunity for me to achieve that dream. And uh, after working for a year after college at a restaurant um, and taking an online TEFL course, uh, I applied several different places and uh, I found a, a recruiter contacted me and got me an interview on Skype with a private school. And I didn't uh, do the research that I should have on private schools in Korea. Um, it didn't occur to me that they would have a, a bad reputation because I was, uh, you know, thinking about schools in my own country, America. Um, so I uh, was so excited that I got anything that I accepted right away. And uh, the interview uh, went a little too well too quickly, and I should have been suspicious. Um, I got hired, like, right away during the interview. There were, it made it seem like it was just um, like they just wanted to talk to me, but they had already made up their mind that they were going to uh, hire me unless I just completely blew it. So it was just a formality. And uh, after asking me a few questions, they said if I want it, I got it. And I didn't want to risk the possibility of uh, not finding something else or something better. So I just accepted. And uh, my friend uh, told me when he found out that uh, he warned me to not do it, to quit, uh, to back out of it and reject the offer because he heard uh, a lot of very bad things about private schools. And I made the mistake of thinking, well, uh, that happened to other people, but it won't happen to me. And I was wrong. Uh, so I accepted and... I went, and uh, much like the interview, the process of getting there uh, to a private school was um, way too easy and too fast, and I, I should have been suspicious of that. But uh, what made me feel more comfortable was that the private school I taught at already had an American um, teaching there, and he uh, contacted me, and uh, we talked on Skype, and he said that he loved it and was already planning on staying, his, had already started his second year. So I thought, well, it can't be that bad if this guy's staying. Um, and so within one month of applying, or, or within one month of uh, being hired, I arrived in Korea. So I was met at arrivals in the airport 
by the director of the school and uh, he uh, guided me to a bus outside the airport, got me on it, um, and uh, so my back was to him when I got on the bus, and then he was just uh, gone, and when I got to the end of the bus route, he was there, took me to my apartment, which I was told was fully furnished, and when I got there, it was not fully furnished. Uh, I had uh, no amenities. I basically just had whatever came with the apartment um, and nothing more. Uh, the only reason I had a bed is because the guy I was replacing couldn't take it with him. Um, and the bed wasn't really bad. It was a very thin uh, mat on the ground. Uh, Within uh, less than three months, I was let go. They told me they uh, reserved the right to uh, fire uh, any teacher that they feel is not up to their standards by three months. And... They said I was not a good teacher, and I said, well, I've never taught before, and you knew that from my resume application uh, interview that I had, that I had no experience, and um, they very quickly replaced me and uh, tried to um, convince me to go to another private school. I told them that I uh, did not want to go through that again. They lied and said that I had to go to a private school, that it was not possible to get hired by a public school because summer was about to start. And um, so the semester was over, and the next semester would be beginning in September. Um, they just said there was no way. Um, I did not want to go through this experience uh, the same thing again and be tricked uh, twice. Uh, that would be really dumb to not learn from my mistakes. So I applied anyway, even though they told me it wasn't possible, and I went through uh, an, uh, a recruiting agency called Korean Horizons that my friend had recommended to me, and they found me a position at a public uh, high school, a public vocational high school that was, if I remember right, less than an hour away. Uh, I think I just got really lucky, and... Uh, so when I started, I began teaching uh, summer school classes, and then uh, went to the uh, orientation in uh, August, I believe, uh, before the fall semester began. So with my... Uh, high school, um, I had a great time, and uh, I, had, I had one co-teacher, uh, a man in his uh, 60s, and um, he was uh, very fluent in English. Uh, I was welcomed and treated very, very well, and uh, it was a very positive experience. And I, I, I did go home after a year because I had never been away from home for that long and I had gotten homesick. But uh, after, and I thought, after I got back with this experience of living and working overseas, getting a 
job back home in my home country would be much easier. And again, I was wrong. It was not any easier than it was before. Um, eventually, I did get a job teaching English as a second language at a private school. Um, and uh, But before that, I applied to come back to Korea, and uh, I returned to America in July. I applied to come back around uh, November, and I got rejected multiple times, and I was told competition is too tough, it's such a popular job, that, um, and it's going to continue to get more popular, and they had uh, the other factor was um, uh, schools cutting uh, the foreign English teacher program. So it was more popular and less um, availability too. So I didn't get it. And then I taught at the uh, private language school. And uh, the following, the October of the uh, following year, I decided to try again, and I uh, got lucky, I guess, and uh, got hired. I went through an agency called Canadian Connections, and here I am. I'm almost at the five-month mark, um, and it's been a great experience. I'm Glad that I returned to give it a second shot, and I think I may stay longer than a year this time. I'm going to end this video now and uh, create a part two to talk about my current experience. So I hope you learned something from this if you're lurking into uh, becoming a teacher in Korea, and I hope it helped.